Hi, I'm Nicole Brewster. I'm the president and CEO of Remforth Resources. We trade on the CSE under the symbol RFR, and we're focused on our Suramo Battery Metals District property in Quebec. And you've got some gold. And I have a gold deposit. Oh, yeah. Uh, you and lots of other Canadians have descended upon uh, London. This lovely uh, city. Mines and mines. Yeah, it's good, right? But I love kind it. of busy next door, kind of busy next door. But EV seems to be everyone's changing the name to have lithium the title, nickel oh, the title, goodness, or whatever. Yes. Um, that's because the markets are excited, investors are excited about it. So how's it going over there? Well, it's going well, it's going well. There is a lot of EV excitement, a um, lot of exploration stories. Mm. Uh, first time seeing this version of the show, it's pretty busy, um, sort of a mini PDAC, if I yeah, can. Right. Um, better, like they feed us, which PDAC doesn't feed us, so that's nice. But um, yeah, there's a lot of energy, a lot of pitches, a lot of people talking. Mm. Um, it's, so it's exciting. Yeah, we've seen a lot of family offices over there as well as some of the bigger institutional names. Although some, oh, well, not they just shall institutional names. The they? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's not. In, there have been institutions, but industries there. Right. There's a lot of industry walking around. A lot of interesting badges and interesting delegates. And I had, I started off the first two meetings were probably the best two meetings that I would never have thought I could get, um, talking about the project. Mm -hmm. Very intrigued by Suramo waiting for me to do a bit more work, but that's fair. There's a lot of work to be done and we'll do it. Um, but yeah, I frankly I'm, was shocked I got those two meetings. Well, so. I, you told me the names earlier. Yeah, I, I didn't know tell we you can't the names, so I'm not so. gonna tell you the names again. No, right. Well, not right now. The two of the biggest names in mining. Okay, yeah. so it, that says to me that it's kind of interesting what's happening, this dynamic, because not only are batch, battery manufacturers and, and OEMs, car manufacturers, going upstream and trying to secure supply chains. But industry is reacting to that because they're going, we're, we're not the only um, gals at the bar now. Right. There's a bunch of people competing for this stuff. So I, We have to show our faces to the yeah. juniors. Like we're the unspeakables, right? Like mm. we don't exist usually. Right. Um, and uh, it's, I find it quite interesting that they're showing their face to me already. And we've only drilled 2.2 kilometers with, I think it's 29 drill holes. Right. Now we're drilling again, but um, the fact that they're prepared to show their face and say, no, we're watching. But, you know, Suramo's a big question mark. It's in an absolutely unexplored area of a major mining camp, which is a contradictory statement right there. And then it's large scale, like 20 kilometers and another nine of, yeah, we call them battery metals, used to call them base metals, but we've got uh, nickel in one system, nickel mm -hmm. cobalt, and then mixed in, we've got the outliers of a VMS system giving us copper and zinc. Right. So it's pretty exciting stuff. Right, I mean- uh, Geologically, which is relatively exciting, right? It, it, <laughs> no, well, it is, it is, okay? Everyone's excited about copper, nickel, zinc, um, you know, and, and well, you've got lithium smatterings in there too. Yeah. So I, I do want to talk about it, but because I want to talk about it in the context of how do you, small company, small market cap, and you, I know you're very careful with your money and you raise little bits of money as and when you need it to advance the project through. But right. what's, the, what's the game plan? Because the big boys are looking. Um, you've got to make it interesting. <laughs> <laughs> they will be. Definitely. They're definitely, yeah. definitely. Um, is how do you? What's the picture you need to paint for them? The good question, and I don't even know that there's an answer because, again, I'm shocked they let me. They actually came out of the woodwork. Mm. I always presume they're listening because, to me, this is super important and everybody cares, right? But to have them actually show their faces. We raised a million and a half, I guess, earlier this month was yeah. the final closing. We'll spend probably about half of it between. We're spending. We're we're on our fifth drill hole right now mm -hmm. um, at La Londe, and we'll drill right up, right in towards Christmas. And then we'll take our take a break in the new year, get our data, go back with a with another campaign. We just, we've, we've done a few things that are not worthy of press release, but incredibly interesting. We took our geophysical and EM survey. Mm -hmm. So the mag shows us the nickel. It's pretty easy to follow. Mm -hmm. The EM is the sulfides, which is what we're trying to vector on this VMS, this hidden VMS. Um, we had that interpreted by a very good geophysicist I've known for quite a while. And the map is quite interesting. And I had it in the press release. Mm -hmm. We stripped and drilled at Lalonde in an area with really no data. 
we're going to drill one of the better looking anomalies at Lalonde, mm -hmm. and we're able to see, not only did we miss the northern mineralization at Victoria, we can see where the, the conductivity is higher now. So we're gonna try and access some of those, but some of that stuff we can't access between now and Christmas. Mm -hmm. We need to do new, new chipping and new permitting. That'll be in the new year. Okay. So some of the higher priority targets we hope to address in the new year. So it's exciting drilling. The drilling's going wonderfully now, and I'm I'm hopeful it gets better. So talking about grades, people something people can relate to and understand the sorts of grades, whether it be copper or nickel or equivalents, just gives a sense of what you're chasing. So it's 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 frustrating for my geologists when I insist on labeling things because mm -hmm. people have the same question you have. Yeah. So what have we seen to date? And we've drilled less than 10% of one structure and we drilled it very loosely. Mm -hmm. So setting the table like that, we see based on the Southern mineralization alone, 125 meter wide corridor at depth, mm -hmm. which is giving us nickel that's averaging out in the 0.2 range. However, we drilled a meter and a half at 3.46 grams per ton, which is very high grade nickel. Mm -hmm. We're also seeing copper and zinc. The zinc grade is running. I mean, I see when I look at the assay certificate, zinc numbers that are in the 1% to 4% zinc range. Wow. The copper, 0.2 to 0.5%. So maybe none of these numbers are a headline grabber in and of themselves, but collectively, yeah. they start to get interesting. And it's going to be a collective scenario mining this. It's The stuff's mixed in. You're not going to mine just the nickel or just mm. the copper, you're going to mine it all. You, you are, um, but I, can't, I come back to the way that companies like you have to behave and talk to you know, keep that interest up, right? Because it, it's hard, because like I said to the beginning, there's lots of new entrants coming in. So I've seen some this week and I'm like questioning, <laughs> have they got anything or are they just literally just jumping on a bandwagon, right? And that's white noise you can't afford to be competing with. And I've never competed with it. I have shareholders and longtime friends in the industry saying, could you be just a bit more promotional? Because mm. I'm a little too plain spoken. Mm -hmm. um, so I won't sell a dream. I'll only sell you what I know, which is we have massive structure. It's mineralized. We've, we've tested it. We know the massive structure is mineralized. We don't know how much it's mineralized with. We have to do more drilling. When will they want to dip their toe in the water? Mm -hmm. Well, one of them has a different threshold, is looking for a different thing than the other of my two meetings. But when it becomes obvious that this isn't messing around, this scale is huge. So if we get the access sorted out, we're working at Suramo from the road, west six kilometers. Highest priority anomaly on the property is at that western edge. Yeah. So if we are working here and we drill over there and we hit, you know, it opens the story up a lot. So we'll do things like that and just try and bring in some boomer holes or bring in some better holes. Mm. We can't predict that, but that's what we can try and do. Yeah, that's what you can do. And I was talking to, again, I love these sort of sessions. We were at a conference all last week and, and, and this week, and getting to sort of speak to people off camera is, is fantastic. And I think it's general consensus is that although the commodity prices are, you know, generally doing quite well, at the moment, there's the, e, the EV, the battery metal um, commodities, that is. Equities have not followed suit because it's, well, one, it's kind of tax loss season, but also it's been a slightly depressed market this year with you know, economic woes, et cetera. But Nick, mining's about timing. It is. My, mining's also about balance sheets. Yes, it so, is. So, Chris, and I always say to people, you know, you need to be at the table to be able to play the game. So survival right. is a, also part of the remit, right? So 2023, Metal super cycle coming up, folks. Watch here. Um, some of these commodities will continue to rise. One expects looking at supply demand fundamentals. You've got a bunch of them, but you're going to need that balance sheet help, I suspect. Sure. At some point. But yeah, I'm looking to you say, well, well, when? How far do you think you can take this? Well, by putting all the money in the ground, I can take it till next summer. However, we have a balance sheet that can, that includes securities, mm -hmm. which I have avo managed to avoid having to really sell it all because everybody's everybody's depressed. So yeah. why sell it now? Yeah. Um, so that is still sitting out there and can be done at some point. And we have a gold asset. Yeah. In fact, we have two, but we have a gold deposit which is next door to what is most likely going to be the consolidated Agnico Eagles Canadian Malartic Mine. Once it's consolidated, Parbeck 
may have an easier time as potential mill feed for mm. Agnico in that they wholly own the asset. They won't have to yeah. arm wrestle with a uh, with but the, the trouble with that thing is, is there's a kind of timing. I, I get that there's oh, they real value control, that. No, no, they control that timeline. However, yeah. I have conversations when I was in New York. The big takeaway was several bankers in New York. What are you doing with your gold asset? Can we put it in a wholly owned? Can we put? Can we spin it out for you in a in a vehicle and list it and give you some paper and you'll go away? Is that the best advice or is that them that's their searching mom, for that's, fees? That's their option. Right. That's their uh, you know. Yeah. Is it the best advice? I sat down oddly enough Sunday night when I got here with another CEO, and he is he's like me. He's a company with two main assets which are mm. different. So he elected to spin it into a wholly into a subsidiary, yeah. dividend to shareholders, dividend to the company, yeah. and it goes up and goes off into the sunset, which is one scenario available to me. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, a lot of money, a lot of time, got to find someone to replace me. I'm like, so I'm hearing no. He's like, well, I'm not going to say no because it's what I'm doing, but... Yeah. You know, so it's an option. No, However, we saw the Woolbridge from the spin out with, with the Archer, right? right. It has zero, zero value on the balance sheet with, with at Woolbridge, but all of a sudden it's worth 55 million bucks when you spin it out. We, we see it can work, but it just I'm just intrigued as how you think about these things and the optionality. By the same have. token, I met a, a, an intriguing guy. He's a, pri he's a fund manager here, Yeah, runs a small fund, specifically focused on junior mining, um, trained geologist in Canada, mm -hmm. um, looking at Parbeck, and he's like, okay, so we have two things to deal with, and one is monetizing mm -hmm. Parbeck. And I mean, I've been doing some work there to facilitate that in that we've done an internal update to the resource. Mm -hmm. It'll never be public, don't even ask me. Mm -hmm. Because previously in negotiations around Parbeck, I had presumed that the ability to add our 15,000 meters would be an opportunity. Mm -hmm. I didn't perceive, because I don't perceive it because I'm too close to it, the risk that nobody wants to take of doing the work and being wrong about that 15,000 meters. Yeah. They want me to do it. So the same guys that wrote the 2020 resource did do an update for me. And I've gone back to them today because I got it late Friday night. I've gone back to them today and I've said, thank you. Perfect. I'm very happy. However, could I now have your top five ways to add ounces in that I know there's spaces in the deposit. Yeah. I know there's things that haven't been... That, that need work, could you just list them as it's fundamentally the recommendations portion? Because then I take that to somebody who's looking at Parbeck and say, okay, you're going to pay X amount per ounce for yeah. the ounces in the resource, but this is how you can add ounces at your own cost right. on top of that. Because honestly, is it going to be Agnico? <laughs> Who the hell knows? And it doesn't have to be Agnico, though. That's the thing. It doesn't have to be Agnico. They're the most obvious, They're and the it's most worth obvious. more to them, and the margins will be better for them, but, but they move at their own speed. They move at their own speed. Unless there's competitive attention. Different conversation. Exactly. <laughs> okay, let's park that up. We've talked about it enough, and I think... So, it, bottom it, line, yeah. money, out of, money out of those sources, yeah. or back to the table to do another little tiny $1 million raise, which is the most, the most work. However, I don't need to raise a bunch of money at once because I can't spend it all at once. So I'm happy to do a little bit in the conditions of the market at the time. Yeah. Cost averaging, sort of. You're not paying stuff, are you? No, no. I get paid shares once a year, as does the CFO. Trade on the CSE, cheapest exchange to trade on, let me tell you. Pay their fees, pay the OTCQB fees, pay the um, directors and officers liability insurance, which you can't be a listed company without. And I pay my auditors and that number keeps going up. But again, you can't be a listed company without them either. It's, it's inflation with auditing. Yeah. And then I have to pay to do the marketing. And I've been, yeah. I've been doing little, I'm all the guys I deal with, with for marketing wish I would spend more money, but um, you know, hmm. trying to be judicious there and do stuff that, you know, like, it's hard for me to quantify. I know what it costs me to be here. Mm. You know, hotel, flight, I eat. Yeah. Um, but there's no deliverable. Like, it's not like I'm selling something that I can go, oh, I yeah. sold this much. Yeah. However, the two meetings I started out the week with, I'm sorry. I'm like, I'm happy to go home. <laughs> Done. I know. I Just know. to have FaceTime. To be clear, they're not doing anything today. But now I have two guys who have stood up and said, no, if you want to talk to us, you talk to me. Here's my business going. And I'll run with it. Well, that's the kind of, that's the kind of name of the game. Look, like, expiration is about, it is 
step and repeat. You know, it's like mm -hmm. raise money, troll, raise money, troll, yeah. etc. It, that's it is the nature of the game. But I think people want you next year to do something with this battery story, right? Because we we were a gold company. And then you've gone, oh, actually, there's oh, wait a little a bit more here. By accident, I seem to and have a it's giant... it's topical. But it you've is. got to take advantage of it, right? For sure. So you're going to have to be more promotional. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit, not too much. Uh, more promotional. You are going to have to give, give people an idea of how... Because I think you, you've been, you're quite good at raising a little bit of, month, bits of money here and there, right? You yeah. are. Yeah. Um, it's what you're going to do with it. And uh, you are going to have to work out what people want to hear. Mm -hmm. Okay, because you're gonna have to focus on the right stuff. I well, think. I need a more exciting way of saying drilling. Yeah. Like, <laughs> that's really yeah, yeah. not even just a, a different language, but with the geophysical inf in all seriousness, with mm. the geophysical work we just did, the interpretation, yeah, and with what we're seeing in the drilling at La Lande, mm. um, I'll be able to just say to people, look, we have several priorities, targets right. on the property. We're going to go and we're going to drill but these that's targets. That's the nice, that's like that's the, that's the thing we didn't have before. Because first it was like, well, I staked all this ground because nobody else was looking. Yeah. And I thought maybe there was something to it. Damn it. There is something to it. So we stuck a drill in it to yeah. confirm that. And that worked. Yeah. So then we spent this past summer on the ground, you know, stripping, channel sampling, prospecting. We looked at the lithium. There's lithium there. We don't know why yet. Mm -hmm. Maybe I find a partner for that. That's a possibility. Um, so we've done all of that. And now we're like, okay, wait. So it is real. It has legs. It's spectacularly located with hydropower and roads and stuff. Yeah. So now we've got to prioritize the targets on the property, communicate those targets, and go drill them. Yeah, and I get it. Look, and, and great, great grades are good, and you've got the right metals, brilliant, but you're going to have to prove up the scale component, and you have to do that in the smartest way possible, because that's going to drive your share price, and that's going to be cheaper equity raising, which you are going to have to do. Or you get hungry and, fo and, and focus on something where you think you can bring a partner in where there's some kind of yeah. event, whatever that may be, spin out, whatever, and because you can't manage, you can't be all, all oh no we can't all do all, all things time, to all right? people if parbec if we can monetize parbec it puts that decision further out in the future it does. if we don't monetize parbec then we raise some more money and we start drilling the we the the one the one survey we're using is delivering mm. if it continues to deliver and we'll know more by next week because we'll drill the one hole i'm waiting to see it'll be in the next mm. day or two. Mm -hmm. um, but based on what I'm seeing so far, the survey is delivering. Okay. If that's delivering, we're just going to keep drilling it off. There's really no, we have a list of anomalies prioritized from the interpretation. Right. We'll just move down the list. Okay. There's at least 20 prioritized anomalies on the property. Okay, in interesting. So, right, let's say this anyone's not signed up for Nicole's uh, newsletter, get on our website, sign up for it, because you say there's not necessarily newsworthy stuff all the time, but there's always interesting things happening all the time. For sure. Okay. For sure. So thanks for coming and seeing us. Great to see you in person. Glad it's gone well in a Londonium. Yes. The right people are, are rocking up. Yes. Man, it's a tough game. It takes a, little, it takes a while. I'm stubborn. It helps. And you're, <laughs> and, and you're finding the right sorts of stuff for the right sorts of grades. So I'm looking yes. forward to 2023 for